keys are to the glory days at the stick. From who's got it better than us to brick by brick. It's always the 49ers way from off season to game day. Yeah, we talk back. It's the 49ers cut back. It's 49ers Cutback Podcast time, and one of the most interesting battles that's going to be coming up is for the starting safety position, because we have three guys that can legit start. So, Chris Tart, Jimmy Ward, and, and Talanoa. Oh, no, it's not Talanoa. It's Talanoa. Tarverius Moore. Right. It did start with a T, so you were close. Close. Um, but I think those are the three guys that could possibly start. If you think Talanoa Hufanga could start, um, then, I mean, let us have it. No, horse was glaring at me, and so I felt like I had to throw it out there for him because I wanted him to, to feel like I, 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 I think he has a chance. I don't think he's going to start. I know you don't. I know you don't. Listen, this is a this is going to be definitely going to be an interesting battle between these three guys. Um, I don't know how everyone else feels on this, but I feel it's Tart and Ward barring injury. Barring injury, it's probably those two guys, and then Tarverius Moore is going to be close. And I think Tarverius Moore has a shot. Uh, but I think the idea is, is that he's going to be your kind of nickel role. He's on the field in nickel packages, maybe playing inside in the box a little bit more in the slot area, potentially. Um, so there's a good chance you might see two or three of them on the field, uh, all, all three of them potentially on the field or, you know, either on the field at the same time or at least sharing snaps. But I think it's Ward and Tart's jobs to lose. And barring injury, I think they're able to hold on. Uh, Horse, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel pretty much the same way. I think... That this, if in a base defense, you're going to see Ward and Tart at free safety and strong safety, respectively. Um, but I do think there's going to be a lot of Tarverius Moore. There was last year, um, even when, when the two Ward were healthy. Play. I mean, uh, what Tart didn't play. I mean, even when Tart was healthy. At the start. When was he healthy? Barely was. You're right. But I think they'll do a lot of um, a nickel dime stuff, you know, bringing. Bringing um, more in over the on the top and using the other two up. Right. Up. I also think there is going to be packages using. I'm assuming Hufanga is going to beat out Marcel Harris. Um, using the winner of that battle up front, almost like an extra linebacker against more athletic offenses. Maybe you see him against Cardinals. Maybe against you know teams like that that you run a lot of receivers. I do think that all four safeties are going to have packages that they're used in. I, like I think they're going to play. But um, I definitely think if we are just talking who starts in a base defense, they are the two best. But I really do like Tavarius Moore. He's a very good player. Yeah, I think that if they were planning on starting Tavarius Moore, they wouldn't have back, brought back to Quisky Tart. Yep. Um, so they brought him back, and that's the reason. Like you were alluding to, the fact that um, Moore played a lot in the Super Bowl, and that's when they really employed the three safety look, all three of those guys, and that's probably what they could do with Tarvarius Moore is employ him in that area. Plus, he does have some corner skills, so he's able to cover you know slot receivers, especially tight ends, and he can be used in that role. Um, so there's going to be an expanded role for all three of these guys. I think you guys are both touching on that. Uh, as far as Tart goes, he's just got to stay healthy. I mean, that has been a big problem for him. Jimmy Ward has gotten over the injury bug and been able to stay you know, pretty much healthy, but Tart continuously gets hurt. And so it's also an insulation thing, making sure that you have guys that can play. Um, the one thing I think a lot of people wouldn't think of looking, you know, on the outside in is that actually the 49ers pass defense is better percentage wise with Tart starting at safety than with uh, Tarverius Moore. And you would think him and Jimmy Ward would be a better, you know, in the pass game, but it's actually not. Um, so that is one thing to look at. So I think Tart is a little bit better in the roles that he plays, but I did like the flexibility the 49ers were able to use last year with Moore and Jimmy Ward being able to do different things, both play in the box, both play the deep third. Kind of seemed like they were more flexible and easier to use, more pliable than when Tart was out there. So I'm curious how many times we get splits and wh who plays when and who does what. I think it'll be a more creative thing. I also expect more blitzing from the safeties than ever before. I, I like that a lot, and actually, got a. I want to. I want to get your take on this because I'll, I'll. I'll go after you on this because Horse brought up a good point, and that was individual packages for these guys. What do you think about that? Do you think there's a good opportunity to see potentially all four safeties playing in games this year for the 49ers? Not at the same time, obviously, mm -hmm. but getting on the field and getting a good run at some snaps. Maybe if there's. It depends on the personnel settings and personnel groupings that you're going to see from the other team. I think it's more likely to see the top three than to see Hufanga. 
Um, the only way I think you could see Ufonga is if, especially if there was an injury to like Dre Greenlaw, and you could see Ufonga in nickel sets, you know, playing the other linebacker. Um, but I think that more Tart and Jimmy Ward give you the best options. Um, just th those guys can do it all. And I definitely I, agree. Yeah, they're a little bit more advanced than Hufanga is right now, but I think Hufanga could develop in the future. But I think more so those top three guys in sets, um, and then Hufanga, you know, tearing it up in special teams and eventually being able to develop. Um, now, for some reason, like I said, Greenlaw gets hurt or something like that, then you could see Hufanga playing in the box, but he still gives okay. up some weight right now. That's fair. Yeah, and um, I think a lot of uh, people, including maybe us, I know myself, tend to forget that when he does play in his seven to nine games a year, Tart is a stud. Agreed. People forget, I think, because of how much he's been out. Tart is a top-tier safety in the league, but unfortunately... Well, I think he could be a top-tier safety, but hes I don't think he's ever, in my opinion, he's never proven it. He's got the physical traits. He definitely does. He definitely does. Is that he's, a better way to put it? Yeah, I just think that he can't be considered top because he's not on the field enough. Yeah. You know, and even in our playoff run in 2019, you could tell he wasn't completely healthy. He was out there gutting it out, which I appreciate, yeah. but we need a top-flight performance. If you look at safety play in our other teams and our other great defenses, it was always fantastic. Whitner, you know, Goldson, you had Ronnie Lott, you know, you had Merton Hanks, you had, you know, all these Tim guys. McDonald. Tim, McDonald. Tim McDonald. Safety has always been important for the 49ers defenses. And the, Jimmy Ward's been the only consistent over the last couple of years. We need more consistency from everyone else. And I'm glad you specified a couple of years because before the couple of years, it was bad. He was injured all the time. Yeah, he was injured all the yeah. time and he just wasn't playing. He was playing duty garbage. And he time. figured it out. If you didn't, did. last year before the season, he talked about his off season, you know, plan and stuff and he's changed it completely he's changed his body everything that he does it's it's wonderful look at the end of the day the safety position is going to be a battle yeah for sure uh who comes out on top who knows we're gonna have to wait and see but man i'll tell you what i'm looking forward to it i know horst is looking forward to it i know ants looking forward to it i know the cutback community is looking forward to it in fact let us know down below right now are we dead wrong on these safeties or are we 100 percent right it's going to be tart and ward's job to lose and you need a little sprinkling of hufanga and some packages Definitely going to use Tarvarius more when they can. Maybe even in nickel packages. Who knows? Let us know what you think. And don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Hit that notification bell. That way you're here for all of our content daily at 11 a.m., Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m., and Fridays when we get back to our live stream, 6.30 p.m. specific time. Yeah, and which safety is going to produce the more, most turnovers? That's, That's what I want to know. That's one thing that the safeties don't always do for the 49ers, but I think it's going to turn around. And which one's going to do it? I'm curious to see if anyone has an idea of who's going to make the most plays. I'm taking Tart. Ooh. I like that one. Grant Cohn would completely disagree with you because our safety don't create any turnovers and they're awful and they need to move on. I Easy. didn't say fart if you're talking about Grant Cohn. Hot dog almighty. Some of those takes do stink. You don't stink. We don't stink. And until next time, 49ers fans, you stay safe. Remember the right way. It's always 49ers away. Sounds good.